Are you struggling to engage our virtual students in a fun way? Are you tired of asking questions and getting no response? Well, my friends, it is time to gamify your virtual classroom. In today's video, I'm not only going to show you how do you can create and utilize Kahoot in your virtual classroom, I'm also going to give you instructions that you can share with your students so there will be no confusion on their end or even your end on the day that you plan on utilizing Kahoot. But first, hello, my name is Serena from SincerelySerena.com. If you love learning how you can up your teaching game with tips, tricks, and inspiration, please hit that subscribe button. I first learned about Cahoots from my fifth grade daughter. She always, I think she's been playing Cahoots for like at least two school years. And she always raves about, oh mom, guess what today? Today is a Kahoot day. I'm like, what's Kahoot day? So it's basically a fun game that the teacher utilizes in an educational way. They create these Kahoot games and the students participate it in a game-like atmosphere. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform that makes it easy to create, share, and play learning games or trivia quizzes in minutes. Unleash the fun in classrooms, offices, and living rooms. Kahoot is free. Yay! Who doesn't like free? I love free. Okay, so teachers create Kahoots and share them with their classroom either in a student-paced Kahoot game or a live version. After the Kahoot is finished, the teacher can go back and look at the analytic, analytic, no, the teacher can go back and look at the data to see where where are their learning holes? Uh, was there a particular question that most of the students got wrong? Is there one student that got all of the questions wrong? All of that information is so helpful for a teacher. The, then the teacher can go back and review that particular question with her entire class or she can quietly you know, single out a student and give them more one-on-one -on -one tutoring until they comprehend the whole thing. You can utilize that data in so many ways as a teacher. And I love that Kahoot gives this information to their teacher to help streamline their process. Kahoot is free for the basic plan and anyone can use this, not only teachers. They do have a paid plan that is three to six dollars a month. And I'm thinking about upgrading because I am integrating a lot of my Google Slides to, to have them interactive. Kahoot's paid version has that Google Slide integration. So if you use the paid version of Kahoot, let me know in the comments below how you like it and try to convince me to pay for it as well. But you, you can totally use Kahoot for free. There are some options that are pretty cool on the paid version, but if you were, you know, creating a basic game, you can have a lot of fun with the free version itself. Kahoot does have pre-made games and they even have trademarked characters. I've noticed that they have some Frozen and some, I think, Paw Patrol, but I have not even touched that. Um, especially as an out-school teacher, there is like a fine line on, you know, can you or can't you. If you are going to use any of Kahoot's pre-made lesson or any, really even anybody's, like Nearpod or Pear Deck's pre-made lessons, reach out to that company uh, and describe your teaching atmosphere, your role as a teacher, and to make sure that you have permission before you even go down that role. So um, I don't mean mess with that because one, I don't teach the little kids that would like those characters, but if you teach those little kids and you wanna use those things, make sure you reach out to that company to make sure you can use that. Okay, so it's kinda of, it, it's it's kind of confusing at first on how you will conduct the Kahoot game as a teacher. So what happens is as the host, you especially if you're doing Zoom, you get in Zoom, you share your screen on your Kahoot screen. Before you start the lesson, you share the Kahoot lesson code with your students. Now it's a little confusing on the students' end because they will need not only to be able to view the teachers screen but they will also need to view their answer key as well in order to interact live with the Kahoot game. This is what it kind of looks like on the students end. So on the right hand side is the box that they would see in Zoom. So and this is what the teacher sees on the right hand side. On the left hand side is the the extra device, if they are on an iPad, the extra device that the student would be using to answer. Um, if they are on a laptop, of course, if they split their screen, this is what they will see is on the left-hand side 
is the students answering on the right hand side is what the teacher sees as well as what the students are reading when they want to answer. And they can join our Kahoot game in a couple different ways. So they can either have a separate device uh, like a smartphone, a tablet, an iPad, anything that has a web browser and join our Kahoot game that way. If they are on a laptop, they can split their screen where they have a half of it is your Zoom session and the other half is your browser tab logged into Kahoot. If they are on an iPad, unfortunately there is no way that you can split your screen on an iPad so they will need a separate device with them. I just found an iPad screen splitting tutorial that I will link down below for your iPad users. I teach older students that a lot of them already have cell phones or tablets and they have done Kahoot many times. They've already downloaded. There's an app for Kahoot that they've already downloaded and they're, easy, they're able to join class that way. I always tell my students that on Kahoot days I will be logged in into the classroom at least 10 minutes early. If you have any confusion about your technology I will be there to try to troubleshoot you as well as if you need questions let me know prior and I will try to troubleshoot you too. I also give my students that are on laptops a video that I have created and I will link that down below that shows them exactly how they can split their screen either in Google Chrome or on their Chromebooks at home. It can be scary to learn new technology and to integrate technology into your classroom, especially if you're not used to it. But I want to challenge you to try some new technology because, and especially if you are an out school teacher, you need to kind of make your, get your classes fun to attract those students so the students will come back and want to learn more from you. Like, you just gotta do it. <laughs> and the more that you've done it, the more it feels better. Like, don't get me wrong, like I messed up a lot of times that first Kahoot game and luckily I was with a class that I've known for several weeks and they were totally gracious with my learning curve on the Kahoot game. I had even students saying, um, Miss Serena, no, you do it this way. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Just know that a happy, engaged student is a returning student. In my experience, most of my virtual students are familiar with Kahoot or joining a class that is similar to Kahoot. They've either had Nearpod lessons, Pear Deck lessons, or whatnot. They are familiar with having to either split their screen or join with a separate device. Now, I had probably about 20% of my students like totally new for this. And I so I was prepared by instructing them. I gave them videos on how they can split their screens on their laptops. I showed them how they can bring in a smartphone or a tablet or whatnot to join our, our Kahoot game. But then in the end, some, some like maybe one or two of my students out of like a hundred students that week just still couldn't get it and they were too frustrated and I just kind of instructed them, that's okay. You can still participate with a pen and paper and I will, I will keep track of your points that way. That's totally fine and just be prepared for those students that don't know how to log into the Kahoot because there are going to be some that just forget to read over the instructions or just don't read over the instructions. But make sure if you are doing a Kahoot game, make sure that is clearly in your class listening if you are an out school teacher. And if you need a PDF file to share with your students on how to log on Kahoot, I will put that in the description box below as well as the video that I share with my students on how they can split their screen. Okay guys, thank you. Time to game game gamify game game gamify